The gray-eyed morn smiles on the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with streaks of light. And fleckled darkness like a drunkard reels from fourth day's path and tightens fiery wheels. Now, ere the sun advance his burning eye, the day to cheer and night's dank dew to dry, I must upfill this osier cage of ours with baleful weeds and precious juiced flowers. The earth, that's nature's mother, is her tomb. What is her burying grave that is her womb? And from her womb, children of divers kind, we sucking on her natural bosom find, many for many virtues excellent, none but for some, and yet all different. Oh, mickle is the powerful grace that lies in herbs, plants, stones, and their true qualities. For not so vile that on the earth doth live, but to the earth some special good doth give. Nor aught so good, but strain from that fair use, revolts from true birth, stumbling on abuse. Virtue itself turns vice being misapplied, and vice sometime by action dignified. Within the infant rind of this small flower, poison hath residence and medicine power. For this, being smelt with each part, cheers each part. Being tasted, slays all senses with the heart. Two such opposed kings encamp them still in man as well as herbs, grace and rude will. And where the worser is predominant, full soon the canker death eats up that plant. Benedicite. What early tongue so sweet saluteth me? Young son, it argues a distempered head so soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. Care keeps his watch in every old man's eye, and where care lodges sleep will never lie. But where unbruised youth with unstuffed brain doth couch his limbs, there golden sleep doth reign. Therefore, thy earliness doth me assure thou art uproused by some distemperature. Or if not so, then here I hit it right. Our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. That last is true. The sweeter rest was mine. God pardon sin. Was that with Rosaline? Rosaline, my ghostly father, no. I have forgot that name, and that name is Rose. That's my good son. But where hast thou been then? I will tell thee, ere thou ask it me again, I be feasting with mine enemy. Where on sudden one hath wounded me, that's by me wounded. Both are remedies, within thy health and thy physics lie. I bear no hatred, blessed man, for lo, my intersection likewise steals my foe. Be plain, good son, and hold me in thy drift. Riddling confession finds but riddling shrift. And plainly know my heart, dear love, is set on a fair daughter of rich Capulet. As mine on hers, so hers is set on mine, and all combined, save what thou must combine by holy marriage, when and where and how. We met, we wooed, and we exchanged a vow. I'll tell thee as we pass, but this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here. Is Rosaline, whom thou didst love so dear, so soon forsaken? Young men's love then lies not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. Jesu Maria, what a deal of brine hath washed thy sallow cheeks for Rosaline. How much salt water thrown away in waste to season love that of it doth not taste. The sun, not yet thy sighs from heaven clears, thy old groans ring yet in my ancient ears. No, there upon thy cheek the stain doth sit of an old tear that is not washed off yet. If e'er thou wast thyself and these woes thine, thou and these woes were all for Rosaline. And art thou changed? Pronounce this sentence then. Women may fall when there's no strength in men. Thou for loving Rosaline. For doting, not for loving pupil mine. And that's my very love. Get not in a grave to lay one in, another out to have. Oh, she knew well thy love did read by rote that could not spell. But come, young waver, come, go with me. In one respect I'll thy assistant be. 
For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor to pure love. Wisely and slow, they stumble and run fast.